Coach Hosley talked earlier this week about how you never see McCollin without Jacob and Jacob without McCollin. Just what's it been like working with, with those two guys and, and their relationship with McCollin coming in over the, the summer? Yeah, it's uh, one that speaks to Jacob and the type of leader he is that knows it's going to take a whole bunch of guys to go win and know that we're going to be counting on Cali to make a bunch of plays this fall. Speaks to really both of them, just an ultimate pro mindset, attacking it every day, trying to get better. I mean, it's a brand new offense for Cali, and I think a lot of time in the spring, you're kind of learning on the run. In the summer, it's about getting the details down. It's about building chemistry with the guys you're playing with. Um, I mean, it's awesome when the guys in your room are close like that. I was at a point you've got two six year guys and you got two freshmen and Ethan and Emmanuel who, you know, Ethan was here, Emmanuel was not, and you got some other guys too, but what's that like having two very old guys that have played a lot and two guys that are new and trying to learn every day? Yeah, it's awesome. During the summer, the way that lift groups are split up, you're able to meet a lot one on one and able to kind of cater the meetings to who's in your room. Fall camp is definitely interesting because you got old guys that you want to talk about some really detailed stuff or some really nuanced stuff, and then you've got other guys that are literally learning the game of football to Ethan, who's come a long way from the spring in terms of what he knows, but is still a young guy just learning how to play. Um, definitely makes it a challenge and credit the old guys for being patient. And a lot of times they're coaching the young guys before I even have to, which makes it really pretty cool. Rob on the left and then Adam on the right. Coach, with Okoye, I mean, you're getting ready to play, you know, SEC football and, you know, at, at a very high level. How do you balance, you know, getting ready to getting your guys ready to play Georgia with you know, coaching a guy that has not been playing football for yeah. you know, any amount of time? Uh, a lot of it's one-on-one -on -one time where I understand that there's a big picture mission that we're trying to accomplish here in just a couple weeks that that takes precedence over everything. At the same time, for him to get the most out of this fall camp, he's got to be at a certain level of understanding. Um, so a lot of it's one-on-one -on -one where you're able to focus on him when it's not the whole group. Um, in the same breath, uh, we understand what's coming down the pipe, and that's for sure the priority. On the one-on-ones with the Koye, can you kind of give us an example of like what level of instruction you have to get give him? Like, is it just explaining more basic football, or is it routes, or like what what's some instructions you have to give him? Yeah, you know, the, the, when he first got on campus, you're drawing 22 bodies on a board, and you're talking about alignments, and you're talking about big picture coverage with just whether it's single high, whether it's too high, how the box is affected by that, like very base level. Um, down to labeling the guys to the point now, okay, we're starting to learn how to operate. We're starting to learn not just what the route is, but how coverage dictates what I'm doing on it. Not just understanding what my assignment on the run is, but how my technique will change. The technique piece is probably the biggest thing just because everything's brand new. And when you're out there thinking about what I'm supposed to do, the how to do it gets really tough. Coach, when he... Coach, when he grabs all the fundamentals and grasps everything you're trying to teach him, what excites you most about his potential? He, he's got a chance to be the most athletic guy to ever play the position. I like truly believe that he is as physically gifted as anybody I've ever been around. He's got to continue to make steps every day. Um, but just from a raw athletic standpoint, he, the ceiling is unlimited. During SEC media days, Jacob Warren mentioned how it takes a special guy to play tight end inside Hypo's offense. Can you kind of elaborate on that a little bit about what makes it so different than other programs? Yeah, you get asked to wear a bunch of different hats. You play in the core as a fullback. You play in the slot as a receiver. You play outside as a receiver. You've got to play in line. You've got a pass block. You've got a run block. You've got a perimeter block. You've got to run a variety of different routes, vertical choice. You've got a lot of different stuff on your plate. Um, and it's happening really fast. And as far as information goes, how we get our guys information, they probably get the least amount of information. So a lot of it's figuring out how you fit into the picture and have to have an intelligent guy that really knows what's going on to be able to go do that at a high level. Alec, you said Ethan had maybe made a jump over the summer. What were some of the things you wanted to see from him over the summer from the spring? I know he had the injury too, but what have you seen from him in the first two days in that regard from, from what he learned in the spring? Just an attention to detail. Um, you know, I think a lot of times you can kind of get in the right area and kind of do the right thing. But when your feet are perfect and your technique is perfect, like the detail of things has come a long way. And I think some of that, he's got to continue to take steps. It's nowhere near where it will be. But when you really know what your assignment is, it allows you to focus on that stuff. When you're swimming, just trying to figure out where to line up and what to do, 
your technique's got no shot. He's gotten to the point this summer where with everything that's in currently, he knows what he's supposed to do, where he's supposed to be, how it's supposed to look. And now he gets to focus on just doing it the way we want it. I know there's still developing of young guys to happen, but how much can having multiple pass receiving threats at the tight end position on the field at the same time really uh, prosper in this offense? Yeah, it changes everything. I think our wideouts get a lot of attention, and rightfully so. As a tight end, you want to play in a system where you're going to have the ability to win one-on-one -on -one down the field. I think we've got guys that can do that in our room. Uh, makes it really tough on a defense if we're able to do that consistently. How much did things sort of change for you the, the moment that, that Jacob said he would come back for another season in terms of all the things that, that, you know, maybe having to throw everything at everybody as opposed to having, you know, a guy who knows the position? I started sleeping a lot better. Um, no, I mean, it changed everything in terms of you knew that you had at least one guy that you could count on to go to war with. And at that point, just trying to find the pieces of uh, – who else was going to be there with them? But man, it was really made it easier for us. More on Warren. Where has he really taken the next step in his game? Maybe kind of have that more primary role in the offense. Yeah, I think he's gotten better. Um, just body control in the route. Like he's, I think he's going to surprise a lot of people in space this year. And I think he's gotten a lot better at that stuff just from a fundamental level. Um, he's got to continue to get stronger, continue to work on every aspect of his game. Um, and the biggest thing to me is just playing with more confidence. Two things I'll ask him separately. Can you talk a little bit more about Mikhail Castles and his development, what you saw at Cal Davis versus what you're seeing now, now that he's been here a little bit? Yeah, uh, I mean, from the Cal Davis tape, you see playmaker. He's really athletic. See a guy that's not afraid to stick his face in it. Um, Guy that's played in a bunch of different systems and knows football at a base level pretty well. Um, this spring, kind of the same thing with Ethan. He's trying to figure it out. He's obviously older, has played a lot more, so came a little bit cleaner for him. But now that he knows what he's doing, being able to really focus on the detail of things and play fast. And how has recruiting changed for you since you've been here at Tennessee, now in your role, and now that the program is having even more success and being out there recruiting, wearing the power T, how has that evolved in your time now? Yeah, I mean, it's no secret it takes good players to win big games. And I think people want to be a part of it. I think the first year you're selling a vision of what this place can be. And now there's been a little bit of proof and understand that there's still another step that we're ready to take and wanting guys that will go do that. Um, at the same time, for sure, you've got a chance to recruit the best players in the country. You're here at Tennessee. Why wouldn't we? How's your background coaching the offensive line help you with your role with the tight ends right now? Um, I sympathize with them when they're tired. Uh, run game fundamentals, super similar. There's a little bit of difference in terms of aiming points. and um, But I think it's easy when you've run through the hole and put your face in it. You can ask those guys to do that, and they understand um, what it takes. There's a little bit of a selfless mindset from O-line that we've got to embrace as well. Um, but. In today's college football, how in the world do you as a staff, number of personnel, system, whatever, keep track of everybody that could potentially go in the transfer portal to where you're prepared? What's that system like for you guys? I'm glad I don't have to worry about that till they hit the portal and then you just start watching guys and trying to figure out what's real and who you think can help you win. But we've got a bunch of people in this program that do a great job as far as getting that stuff figured out for us so we don't have to worry about it till they are. What are you really looking for during fall camp out of the tight end room? Just compete. Go play hard every snap. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys.